In this video, we'll cover Maven archetypes. So you basically use Maven archetypes to create new Maven projects, and they contain template files for a given Maven project. So you can really think of this as a collection of starter files for a project. So if you're starting a Java project or you're starting a web project, then Maven will give you some starter files for that project. So when you see this scary word archetype, just in the back of your mind, think starter project. And that's really it. Now here's a list of some common archetypes or some common starter projects. So you have the Maven archetype quick start. This will generate a sample Maven project. This is good for standalone projects. And they also have the archetype Maven archetype dash web app. So this generates a sample Maven web app. So as the name implies, this is great for starting web projects. And there's other archetypes out there. You can go to the website here, maven.apache.org archetypes. But the ones I have listed here are the most common. So a bit more on archetypes here. So we can actually create a new project using these Maven archetypes. So again, think of it as a starter project. We can use these archetypes from the command line using Maven, or you can use it from an IDE. So you can use it in Eclipse, IntelliJ, NetBeans, and so on. All of the major IDEs have built-in support for Maven. So here's an example of doing this in Eclipse. So in Eclipse, you simply go to File, New Maven Project. They'll give you a list of all the archetypes. So again, these are really just starter projects, right? You select the given archetype, and you get some more details about your project, and it'll generate all of those starter files for you for your project, which is really cool. All right, so let's take a look at one of the archetypes here, the quick start archetype. So again, it contains a sample Maven project, good for standalone apps. Um, it'll create a project directory for you. It'll include a basic pom.xml file, and they'll also give you a main application called app.java, and they'll also give you a very basic JUnit test. So these are the files that will be generated or given to you for free when you use that quick start archetype. Alrighty, so let's look at the web app archetype. So this archetype contains a sample Maven web app project. So if you're building a web project, use this archetype to help get started. So it'll create your project directory. It'll give you a basic pom.xml. It'll also create a basic JSP file for you and a web.xml. So again, these are just starter files. You'll take these files and you'll go ahead and add your own custom development to it. But at least it kind of lines things up for you, give you some basic structure just to help you get started with your development process. So those are the two most commonly used um, archetypes. Alrighty, so in the next video, we'll actually go through these archetypes and uh, we'll create projects using them. All right, so I'll see ya in the next video. Yo, yo.